Hey there, everyone. I'm News 6 meteorologist Samara Kokinas. Thanks for joining us here on ClickOrlando.com. As we take a look at the setup over the next day or so, it's going to change quite a bit as this uh, cold front continues to sag to the south. An area of low pressure situated well across the Gulf over by Texas is actually going to move closer to South Florida, bringing the focal point back to Central Florida in terms of rain. So here's a look at that as we head into the next 24 hours. Take a look here. That front sags a little bit further south and then it becomes stationary. Now watch this. This area of low pressure is going to skirt closer to South Florida. Notice bringing a whole bunch of moisture back to Central Florida as well. So when we look at this a little bit closer to home, here's how it breaks it down. For tonight, I think this model is really overdoing the amount of moisture that we're calling for. So I'm really just going to say, hey, there could be a chance for a stray shower or two. By tomorrow morning, completely different story. You will have some showers and thunderstorms well to the north as well as extending uh, from the coastline in Volusia County going down to Brevard County and then back into Osceola. So notice there could be some pockets of heavy rain that's primarily going to remain along the coast. But by the afternoon, this is two o'clock, Orlando and the surrounding areas could see a few storms producing some heavy rain, maybe even some lightning and gusty winds. All that can't be ruled out. But I can tell you under cloudy skies, your daytime highs are going to be a little bit cooler than they were today. We got up to 87 today. We're going to only get up to about 80 tomorrow. By 7 o'clock, a lot of the rain is starting to fade away, and by midnight, it's pretty much gone as high pressure strengthens. It's going to clear things out. 67 degrees tonight, and it will be a little bit breezy out there with that northeast wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Can't rule out a few showers, but I think the big-time showers are going to be tomorrow for Mother's Day. Notice your rain chances at 30 and 60 percent for the first half of the day, and then it starts to wind down by 6 o'clock tomorrow night. Your high temperature is going to reach 80. Now let's get some results and show you your pinpoint accurate seven-day forecast. As we head into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we're all dry in the mid 80s. Showers return by Thursday, Friday, and Saturday between 30 and 50 percent. Your overnight lows will stay in the mid to upper 60s and low 70s. That's your pinpoint accurate forecast. Thanks for logging on. You're now up to date.